hexagon patterns. So when you see this ultras, right, now we've got the hexagon patterns, they're more likely to be social, right? So the next six are all somewhat social driven, but I'm going to talk about the differences. Look at the partying happening over here. <laughs> yes. All right. So for the ultras, they love to communicate and build relationships. You do it with ease. You do it quickly, right? So you build relationships quickly. You do focus on the rules, so you make sure things are done to a really high quality and standard, and you're very harmonious. You're incredibly good team players. When it comes to servicing customers, you guys are incredible because you're selfless. You build those relationships, you do it quickly, and then you deliver high quality results. I bet we did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we have the persuaders. This is the group that can't shut up. They have a microphone. <laughs> All right, so with our persuader pattern, they are quite results orientated, but the most important thing to them, including their goals, is taking people along with them. So whilst you are goal orientated, what's more important are the relationships you build along the way. Everything you do is gonna be relationship driven. You wanna move quickly and you'll tolerate rules to a certain extent, <laughs> right? You, you will tolerate to a certain extent um, when you communicate with them, talk to them about the goals, where we're heading, spend time, get to know them. They want to build a relationship with you, right? And they're quite happy to do that quickly as well. So you will come into a business, come into a new team, and you'll build those relationships really quickly with the team, but also your customers. Okay. Oh, I could give you the mic, mate. No. <laughs> hey, everybody, should I give Annie the mic? You know she'll love it. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, I had to spend two days with Annie at PI training. I got to train the trainer, everybody. All right, so with promoters, their highest factor is B. And actually, that is their highest drive. So everything for them is about building connections. So you need to spend more time talking to these people. Their best ideas happen when it fell out of their mouth and they're like, oh my God, I had this great idea. Look at that, that's awesome. Where did that come from? Right? They haven't had the idea until they verbalized it and then they went, oh my God, look at that. That was awesome, I just said that. Right? So you need to make sure these guys whiteboard an idea out. They wanna build your, those relationships quickly. They're super casual and relaxed and they're great team players because you're super har harmonious and low dominance as well. There you go. Thanks. Sorry for picking on you, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we have captains. What a cool reference profile is that? Yeah. Captain of the ship. So, with these captain profiles, we have their highest drive is their dominance, right? So they're all about vision and where we're heading. That's why we call them captain profiles. And they also want to make sure they can get everybody on the boat. They are still high extroversion, so they love to build relationships. But the most important thing for them is where we're heading, how do we take people on the journey, how do we move at a really fast pace, and how do we put in enough rules and structure to get to where we're going. But only enough rules and structure to get where we're going. We don't want too much rules and structure. Okay, then we have the Maverick profile. Yeah. I should get... Yeah. Woo -ya! Yeah. I need to get them all some Top Gun sunglasses. I should have come prepared with those. So, Mavericks are high risk profiles. <laughs> you are so excited by risk, you see it as an opportunity. It's not risk anymore, guys. It's not a risk. What are you talking about? We might make lots of money, right? They love to move quickly. They don't care about the rules. They will build those relationships. They are very entrepreneurial in profile by nature. So when I work with founders and business ventures and we profile 60 founders, 40 of them will be mavericks because they're willing to bet it all to be successful, right? So a much higher risk profile. It is the highest risk profile in the group. All right, hands up collaborators because there's a lot of you. There we go. Okay, so collaborators are very calm. They're patient. They're stable. They love to build relationships. They're really harmonious, all right? That's why we call them the collaborator. That is natural and easy for them to collaborate, right? So they're really flexible as well. So they'll spend more time listening. I need to understand you. 
Again, they make really great listeners. That's why they're great collaborators. They try to bring everybody into the conversation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like or comment below. If you want to find out what drives and motivates you, click the link in the comments below and take the free Predictive Index Behavioural Assessment and find out what drives and motivates you today.